All right, good morning class. So today we're going to cover 5.3, which takes us into the linear programming aspect of business um, algebra. And this is the geometric model. Um, when you get into the business world, you'll probably use technology to do this, but this gives us an idea of how the technology works. So we're going to do this all manually. Um, everything that you've learned in Chapter 5 so far leads up to this point. So you have to remember how to uh, graph an inequality. So that is 5.1, so you can go back and look at those videos. You also have to know how to graph more than one inequality. Um, and whether the region, the feasible region is bounded or unbounded, um, and that is 5.2, and be able to create a table of values. So 5.3 just puts it all together and it adds one more aspect to it. So the, the added aspect is we're going to come up with an objective function where we maximize or minimize our values. So this is an example of a company that produces two different types of tents. One is the standard, I'm getting the screen here. One is the standard type of tent, and the other one is expedition type of tent. And then we're going to deal with the assembly, how many hours it takes to assemble each tent, and then how many hours it takes to cut each tent. And then we want to have a um, maximum profit, so we want to figure out what the maximum profit is. So the other aspect that you'll have to remember how to do is how to find the corner points because maximum and minimum only happens at the corner points of the feasible region. So that's why everything that we've done up to this point will now be put in place into a, an application. Okay, so here's the problem. We have um, standard model, expedition model. Each standard tent requires one hour of labor for cutting and three hours of labor for assembly. So the standard takes one hour to cut and three hours to assemble. The expedition tent requires two hours of labor for cutting and four hours to assemble. So two hours for cutting, four hours to assemble. So remember, this is the table that I showed you. There's one short video on how to set up your table. What you want to do is you want to figure out, all right, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for how many standard and how many expedition um, tents are we going to use. So we're going to call the standard the X and the expedition the Y. Um, the maximum labor hours available per day in the cutting department is 32. So this is our maximum hours. And then in the assembly department, it is 84. So we have a maximum of 32 hours to use to cut, and then we have a maximum of 84 labor hours um, to assemble. So here is where the additional aspect of 5.3 is. Um, if the company makes a profit of $50 on each standard tent and $80 on each expedition tent, the question is how many tents of each type should be manufactured to maximize the daily profit? So we make $50 on the standard and $80 on the expedition. So now we are good to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the, um, the two inequalities and then we're going to create um, the chart to come up with the maximum uh, profit. So here we go. So this is X, this is Y. Maximum hours means we it has to be less than or equal to 32. 84 is the maximum number of hours, so it has to be less than or equal to 84. In other words, I can't go higher. 32 hours for cutting is the only number of hours that I have. I can't go higher than that. That's due to number of employees or number of hours in a day or number of um, hours that the machine can work. So there's limitations to what we can do. Um, 84 hours is the maximum number of labor hours for assembly. Again, number of employees, number of hours in the, in the, um, the building that you can use, etc. Okay, so here's our two equations. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this off to the side and then I'm going to erase so that you can see it. Okay, so now that I have my information, now I'm going to erase this so I have more room. I'm running out of room. All right, so here is our equations. 
or inequality, excuse me. So we have um, x plus 2y is less than or equal to 32. We have 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 84. And then the objective function, we usually call it z. So we're calling the objective function z. So I have $50 for every standard and $80 for every expedition. So the question is, how many of each of these do I need to um, produce in order to make my maximum profit? So this is where your graphing comes in. You're going to come back to your two inequalities. This is going to be set. This is going to be our last step right here. So we're just going to concentrate on this. So remember, when we're talking about um, application, we're only working in the um, first quadrant, in the positive quadrant. So again, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the two lines. So this first equation or inequality is going to be my blue. And the second, <coughs> excuse me, the second one is going to be the green. All right, so first things first. Just like in 5.1 and 5.2, we find our x-intercepts. So cover up for the blue, so our x-intercept. I'm sorry, our y-intercept, going to cover up the x, because x is 0, so 2y is equal to 32, so y is going to equal to 32 divided by 2, which is 16, so when x is 0, y is 16. To find our x-intercept, we're going to cover up the y, and x is going to equal 32. Okay, so that's for the green. I'm sorry, for the blue. For the green, I'm going to see if I can get the right. So for the green, the y-intercept, I cover up the x, is 4y equals 84. So y is going to equal 84 divided by 4, which is 21. So when x is 0, y is 21. My x-intercept, I'm going to cover up the y. 3x equals 84. So 3 goes into 84 28 times. So it's 28 and 0. Okay, so I have my intercept, so now I can graph. So the blue line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my, very, my, my values, and I'm going to fit my graph to these values. So the x value, the largest x value is 32. The largest y value is 21. So I'm going to put in my values. So I'm going to go by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. So there's my 32. That's on my x. And then for the y, my highest value is 21. And I'm going to go by 2's again. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So 21 is going to be right in between. So for my blue line, I have 0, 16, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So there's my y-intercept. My x-intercept is 32, 0, so here's 32. So here is my blue line. Okay, now I'm going to do my test. Remember the test point, 0, 0 is the test point. So 0 is less than, 0 is less than 32. This is a true statement. So I'm going to shade below. And now I'm going to do the green. So green, the y-intercept is 0, 21. So 22 is here. So 21 is here, right in between. And then my x-intercept is 28, 0. So here's 32, 30, 28 is here. So I'm going to make my line, and it's a solid line because I have less than and equal to on both of them. Now I'm going to do my test point. So zero, <coughs> excuse me, zero is less than or equal to 84. This is also true, so I'm going to shade down here. So remember, where the feasible region is, the feasible region is where it's double shaded. So I have blue and green in this region right here. Okay, so that's where my blue and green is. So I'm going to highlight it 
so that I know that is my feasible region. That's where all the answers are. That's where all the solutions. So this is the number of tents that I can create and still stay within these parameters, less than 32 hours, less than 84 hours. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this one, let you sit on it a little bit, and then I'm gonna start and finish the problem. <laughs>